Hey guys, what's going on? It's LukeyD27 here, and today I'm bringing you a commentary on the map grid. I'm playing some more Domination. As you guys may have noticed, Domination is my favorite game type. Well, I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's the one I play the most. Because I do pretty good at it, and... I don't know. I just play it. It's my... It's my kind of, like, default game mode. Uh, so yeah, I'm bringing you some Domination gameplay on grid. Using this new class that I set up a couple of days ago, got the WA2000 with a, uh, I think this is a variable zoom and a silencer. Uh, I switch out between variable zoom and uh, ACOG scope, but yeah, it it's pretty nice. I like it. It's kind of like the FAL with a silencer and like infrared, which I used last prestige, but it has a bit more kick. Two shots and two shots and you can knock them down normally which is pretty good because this gun's unsilenced is still two shots to knock the person down unless it's like a headshot or a high chest so yeah I was using this gun and I believe I do pretty good I forget the final score maybe I think this might be the game where I go 26 and 9 but for a new class it's pretty good and you see some pretty bad aim right there but you know what are you gonna do Right here. Uh, yeah, there you go. Got him. Last stand. Last stand, faggot. What are you gonna... I don't like last stand. He's actually pissing me off a lot today. I am playing some hardcore mode. This guy had last stand on. He always got me. I killed him. But nope. He's got the last stand on and then he'd like stab at my legs. And I'd be like, fuck. What the fuck? That's not fair. You know. Whatever. Anyway, today, on the last commentary, I was going to talk about the new maps, but I I ran out of time, so today I'm going to do that. So, new maps is the Escalation Map Pack DLC for Black Ops. Came out May 3rd for Xbox, comes out June 3rd for PS3 and PC, which I hate because I have PS3, and I don't really like Xbox too much. But, you know, Microsoft got to deal with uh, Activision. So they always get the maps a month early, which is wicked annoying. I don't think it should be a month, maybe like a week and a half or like two weeks, like a whole month. Like the maps are like old, They're like the maps are just old news by the time PS3 people get them. Like we already know everything about the maps by the time we get them, so it's kind of lame. But you know, I'm still gonna get them when they come out June 3rd because they look bomb. I uh, especially like the uh, Treyarch map packs because we get a new zombies map every time. This year, this uh, DLC zombies is Call of the Dead. Uh, it takes place on a film set, kind of. I don't really know if it's meant to be a film set. But anyway, George Romero is the director and he's directing a movie and all of a sudden the zombies come out of his ass and start biting his ass. So, you know, and you get to play as... Ah, uh, Danny Trejo, Michael Englund, the uh, the Buffy chick, and then some random guy who no one knows. Oh, it's the it's the guy who plays uh, Fre uh Freddy or something. I don't know. Anyway, I've been watching gameplays of that because Xbox has it, so I've been watching gameplays. Ma mainly Syndicate. He's a, he's pretty bomb at zombies. So I was watching him, and uh, it looks bomb. They have the. Uh, they have new guns, they have the scavenger sniper rifle, which shoots like, uh, it's kind of like the crossbow, it's got explosive uh, bullets still instead. And that thing like wipes out the zombies. And then the uh, SR-71 maybe is the new special gun, which uh, which sucks, if I, I'd say so, it doesn't do anything. It turns one zombie into a human who then gets chased by the zombies. And then, if you upgrade it, it turns them into a human and then they die, somehow. But it, it only kills like one at a time, like it's so bad, like the thunder gun, it's way better. But you know, but the, the scavenger is pretty damn beast though, that thing's pretty damn powerful. But yeah, the SR-71, whatever, it sucks. But you do need it to kill Romero, take that into mind. If you want to kill George Romero, who follows you around for like the whole game and just pisses you off, you need that for that. Anyway, anyway multiplayer maps. Let's talk about them. I'm gonna run out of time again.
Oh, multiplayer maps we got Zoo, which is it's just a map which takes place in a abandoned Soviet Russian zoo. So it's like it's kind of like Carnival, Modern Warfare 2, I'd say. But pretty colorful, well, kind of great because of Treyarch, but as colorful as they can make it. And pretty close quarters, and there's like a monorail that, like, if you take control of, you're pretty much gonna dominate. Uh, there's Hotel. Which is a takes place on the roof of a like a Cuban hotel and casino, and it's like against the backdrop of the uh, Havana map. But it's pretty cool. They implemented uh, elevators in here, like in the zombies, so you can take the elevator up and down, which is pretty cool. You set some claymores up, uh, dominate the elevator. It's probably gonna be a main choke point. Uh, they also brought out convoy, which is like. Uh, it's like a US convoy which was ambushed and there's like a huge missile in the middle of it and a busted down bridge and from what I see it looks like there's like B-DOM is on the bridge or like a broken helmet and there's some pretty good viewpoints so if you dominate that uh, you pretty much dominate the game which can be good, can be bad depends uh, and then lastly, the last multiplayer map is Stockpile, which is in like an old Russian farm town, which uh, has like a bunch of WMD, weapons of mass destruction facilities, like hidden away and stuff. So, that map, I haven't seen much gameplay on that map, I don't know if people just don't like it or not, but you don't really hear much about that map, I really have no idea what happens on that. And uh oh that's the one with the um with the uh garage doors which you can close down actually. So yeah, B DOM's inside this main building and there's like three two or three doors which you can control with the switch. So you wanna control those doors, set some claymores up. Because they can be open from inside and outside, so B DOM's in there, so if you playing domination, you're gonna dominate the game if you get uh if you secure that building down. So yeah, that's the new map pack, Escalation map pack, came out May 3rd, Xbox, if you have an Xbox, I'd suggest getting it, if you like Call of Duty, it's kind of a natural thing to do. Uh, PS3 users expect that June 3rd, it's not confirmed, but it's usually like an exact month later that the come is out, so June 3rd pretty much it. Uh, so yeah, got my uh, little map pack talking what I wanted to talk about. Uh, I'll talk about the uh, gameplay for a little bit. See right now I'm using the FAMAS which is kind of the overpowered gun of this game. Uh, World at War had the MP40 uh, Modern Warfare 2 had the um, UMP which you could like snipe people across the map with a submachine gun. And then like sniping was so kind of overpowered a little bit. This game has the FAMAS. If you watch any MLG pro circuits or if you do game battles, pretty much 80% of the people will be using the FAMAS and the silence or not silence. Because the gun is is kind of the best in the game. High rate of fire. You put like five bullets in them like in a second. Right there, right there. Super fast, they are down. When you got that guy in that stand like a fabric. You know? Even there, like the guy shooting me with a shotgun, but the FAMAS rapes. I'm going on a nice little uh, tear here. And uh, yeah, this gun, I've been using it quite a bit, this Prestige. I've, like, I tell you, it is so powerful. Like, I don't realize it, but like, normal gun, if I see like three people in front of me, I try and shoot them all, it wouldn't make them. Anyway, this gun it rapes. That's the end of the gameplay. I finish up 50 and 15. 26 and 9, what was I talking about? Anyway, here's a bonus clip. How you guys enjoy it. Peace. Tangled down! Sit down, bitch. Security.